Hello and welcome to this session. In the last session, we have created our project so that we can start testing with REST assured. In this session, we will create our first test. And step number one is we will go to our project that we created in the last session and we are going to create a class inside our project. So I will go on Eclipse and here is the project that we created in the last session. I will expand this. And here you can see we have different folders. We have SRC main Java, SRC main Java resources, SRC test Java and SRC test resources. So I will go to SRC test Java, do a right click, new. And first I will create a package. And I will name this package as tests. You can name it anything. And these packages are for easy categorization and organization of our files inside the project. So I will say finish and you can see the tests package is created here. I will also create another package. I will say new and create a package called demo. This I'm just creating whenever I have to do some rough work or I have to just test something, I can put it here. So I'm going to create a class inside the tests package and just in case you see a different view you see a nested folder structure that is fine you may be in project explorer or some other view that is fine so if i just click here on this search button and i say project explorer so you can see we have a project explorer as well so if i see the project explorer and if i go to the same project we can see a little different view here so that is fine you can use a project explorer or a package explorer and under the tests package now i am going to create a new class i will do a right click here and say new and i will say class and i will say this is test one or i can name it anything i am just saying this is test one or I will just say this is tests examples. So I'm going to create some tests here. Now here, if you want to create a main method, you can check this. But as of now, we are going to create a test ng test. So I will keep all this and unchecked and say finish. So here we have our class. Uh, let me increase the font. I'm pressing control plus on my keyboard to increase the font. If you are on Mac, you can press Command S. So here we have our class created and we have done step number one. Step number two is we will create a function and do an annotation with testng at test method. Now, before I do that, just in case you are completely new to Java, you can go on my website automationstepbystep.com and here you can go to Java under the programming section, you will find a course on Java and it this will take you to the YouTube playlist where I have a Java beginners course and here you can see some examples like how to create first Java program and some more topics on object oriented programming so you will see some object oriented programming topics here and this will help you in case you are completely new to Java so I have to create a function to create a function I will say public and void this is the return type and i will give a function name so let us say i will say this is test underscore one you can give any name to the function and brackets and a curly bracket start and a curly bracket stop let me also show you in a full screen mode so this is a function and this is the range of the function anything i write between these uh, curly brackets will be a will be the body of the function so you can save this using the save button or press ctrl s on your keyboard and now i will create some test so i have to do uh, let us say we have to run a get request and for that let me take some examples online i will go to google and search for rest api for testing now in the coming sessions, I will also show you how you can create your own REST API and how you can host it on a local system on your local server and then uh, how to use them. But as of now, just for starting, let me go and take some public REST API. So here 
we have this website reqres.in and here they have some fake rest api that we can use for testing and here you can see we have all these get post put delete patch requests i will go to this list users which is a get request and here is the endpoint if i click on this it opens and gives me the response that i will i should get when i run this api and this is the url so i have to give this url endpoint so in my function i will say rest assured so rest assured is a class and here i am getting an error because i have not yet imported it if i hover over this uh, let me say i can say rest and without completing the word i can press control spacebar on my keyboard so that it gives me auto suggestions and here you can see I'm going to take it from this rest assured io dot rest assured and this should be available if we have already added the libraries and jars in our project that we did in the last session so I'm going to use this rest assured you can also see the import is done here and then I will say dot and here you can see as I say dot there are so many functions available in this class so if I say get here is a get function available i can also say post there is a post function there is a put function there is a patch function and then delete function is also there so all this is coming from rest assured library so as of now i will just say get and here i have to use the url so i will copy the url or the endpoint so I will copy the endpoint from here and I will paste it here and I will also uh, let me check very quickly let me check from here I will go to REQRES dot in and get the get api request this one and this is the url i'll copy and paste it here and that's it and a semicolon at the end now this will do this will run the get request however we need to get the response and also we want to display the response and for that i'm going to use another class from rest assured which is response and i will use a variable you can name uh, you can give any variable name here equals to again if you see i'm getting an error under response so if i hover over this error and i check so here again you can see i have to import it from io.restassured.response so i will click this and it has done the imports here and now i will say response and a variable response equals to and because java is case sensitive so this response and this response these are two different things so i will just make this equal to our this statement where we are running the get request and now our response will be stored into this variable called response and now using this response variable i can say response dot get status code so i can get the status code of the response i can also say response dot get time i can get the time of the response and to print it on console i have to use a print statement and the print statement in java is System dot out dot print ln and the shortcut is you can press SYSO you can type SYSO and then press control space bar on your keyboard and this will auto complete the statement system dot out dot print ln this is the statement we use to print on the console and now I will just put this inside the brackets of the print statement I'll put this here and again I will have another print statement syso control space bar and 
this get time as well I will put here and that's it let me try to run this and I should be getting the status code and the time of this response so I will do a right click and say run as and let me check the configurations so I should be having test ng test here and in case uh, if you have added test ng plugin in your Eclipse that we have already seen in the last session you should be getting an option to run as test ng test and you can see I am not getting it because, because I have not yet uh, annotated this function as a test ng test and this was actually step number two where we should be using at test annotation that is coming from test ng so just above the function declaration I will say at and say test so that this becomes a this function becomes a test ng test and you can see it is throwing an error if I hover over the error here I am getting the option to import from test ng or j unit now make sure at test is an annotation both in test ng and j unit so you have to import from test ng so that it becomes a test ng test so I will say import from test ng and you can also verify the import is from test ng here now if I save this and do a right click and say run as I am getting an option of test ng test just in case even after this you do not get the option you can go to run configuration and here you can just click on test ng and then click on new and here you will get your class and you can browse to your class and then you can run as a test ng test but most probably you should be getting the option here if you have added the test ng plugin and you have made your function as a test ng test so I will run as test ng and let us see the output so you can see this is running fine and it is printing the status code which is 200 and the time in milliseconds that is 958 milliseconds if you go to the results of test ng you can see this is all pass so we are able to run this now we can also get some other details from the response I can just say I can say system.out.println response.get body and to print in a readable format I will say dot as string you can in fact just say response dot as string without using the body that will also work fine so this will also work fine but let me just print it like this I can also print I can say response dot get status code and we have status line as well we already have status code here uh, if I want to get some particular header I can say response dot get header and I can give the header name so let us say there is a content type header that should be coming in the response I can print that and similarly you can see a lot of things we can do once we have the response so let me save and run this again and this time I can directly use this run button it will run as per our last configuration which is test ng so I will run here and you can see this is working fine I have got the status code time and this is the body and you can see the entire body is printed here and then we have the status line uh, and then we also have the content type printed here application JSON so everything is working fine so we have already done step number four where we stored the response here we have stored the response and then we have printed the response data now we can also add assertions and I can say something like assertion or I can say assert dot assert equals and here I can give actual and expected so let's just say if I want to uh, check the status code is 200 I can directly give it here like response dot get status code or I can store it separately first I can say int I am storing into an integer type of variable I will say status code equals to response dot get status code 
and then I will use this status code here in place of the actual value and the expected value is 200 so I'm checking the status code should be equals to 200 I will run this again and let us see the output so this is working fine if I go to the test ng results here it is working fine let's just say if I say it should be equal to 201 which is actually a failure and if I run now this should fail and let me check the output so this has failed and you can see it shows the failure here also and here if you see it says it was expecting 201 but it found 200 so therefore it was a failure and this is how you can create a test now if you go to the rest assured website which is rest assured let me just go to google and go to the website of rest assured i will show you some examples that are given on the official website so this is rest assured io which is the official website of rest assured and here if i go to the docs and if i go to the getting started documentation here we have already seen in the last session here we have some getting started guide where we have the libraries that we have to add and then if i go to the usage guide here here you can see some examples so if i see here scroll down and you can see some examples so here you can see how these examples are shown so this is one example of a get request here we are directly saying get and we are saying then and then we are saying body and this particular element or parameter in the body should be equals to 5 there is this another example again we have a get and we say after get the body and some particular parameters should have these items so how to do this this is something i will show you in the next session how we can exactly create these kind of very quick tests this is exactly what we are going to see in the last uh, in the coming session and we have already done step number six that is run and verify so we are able to create our first test in rest assured in the coming session we will create some more tests and we will look at some more topics of rest assured i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching